What's up guys and welcome back to my reading journey. Hope we're all doing absolutely fantastic or continually getting better. Anyway, we're gonna continue with the Daily Stoic. It is the current book that I'm reading to you. And today we'll have two, sorry, three more meditations out of this book. Three because we're gonna end up with the current chapter. Not really chapter, but the car with the current part, which is the bigger one. And tomorrow we will start with a new one. So let's get started with the first meditations. Sort of meditation. Want nothing, have everything. No person has the power to have everything they want, but is it is in their power not to want what what they don't have and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. Snacka moral letters. Is there a person so rich that there is literally nothing they can afford? Surely there isn't. Even the richest people re regularly fail in their attempts to buy elections, to purchase respect, class, law, and any number of their things that are not for sale. If absent, absent, if absent wealth will never get you everything you want, is that the end of it? Or is there, is there another way to solve for that equation? To the Stoics, there is. By changing what is that you want, by changing how you think, you'll manage to get it. John D. Rockefeller, who was a re as rich as they come, believed that a man's wealth must be determined by the relation of his desires and ex expenditures to his income. If he feels rich on 10 bucks and has everything he deserves, he really is rich. Today you could try to increase your wealth or you could take a shortcut and just want less. When you feel lazy, anything that must yet be done Virtue can do with courage and prom promptness. For anyone would call it a sign of foolishness for one to undertake a task with a lazy and begrudging spirit or to push the body in one direction and the mind in another, to be torn apart by wildly divergent impulses. Seneca Moral Letters. If you start something and right away feel yourself getting lazy and irritated, First, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Is it really a necessary necessity? Sorry. Ask yourself, what's behind my reluctance, fear, spite, fatigue? Don't forge ahead, hoping that someone will come along and relieve you of this task you don't want to do, or that someone else will suddenly explain why would you're doing matters. Don't be the person who says yes with their mouth, but no with their actions. Steve Jobs told Business Week in 2005, only mid midway through Apple's turning rise to becoming one of the world's most valuable companies. Quality is much better than quantity. One home run is much better than two doubles. Consider your failings too. Whenever you take offense at someone's wrongdoing, immediately turn to your own similar failings, such as seeing money as good or pleasure or a little fame, whatever from it takes. By thinking on this, you'll quickly for forget your anger, considering also that, considering also what compels them. For what else could they do, or if you be if or if you are able, remove their compulsion. Mark Strauss meditations. Earlier, we were reminded of Socrates' tolerant belief that no one does wrong on purpose. The clearest proof of that hypothesis: all the times we did wrong without malice malice or intention. Remember them? The time you were rude because you hadn't slept in two days. The time you acted on bad information. The time you got carried away, forgot 
didn't understand. The, the list go, goes on and on. This is why it is so important not to write people off or brand them as enemies. Be as forgiving of them as you are of yourself. Cut them the same slack you would for yourself so that you can continue to work with them and make use of their talents. Yeah. All right, guys, so the current part is over. The current second part is over. And we're going to continue with the new one, which is called the discipline of will. And, and it will start with the September chapter, September, under the label of fortitude and resilience. So we're going to figure out what's going to happen there. But tomorrow, so. Thank you for joining me today on this video. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you and bye.